Hey team, Magli here and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very soft practice focusing on the shoulder and scapular area and also that thoracic spine which is um, connected to your rib cage and where we hold a lot of tension especially if we spend a lot of time working at our desk, slouching over on the phone etc etc. You will need a block for this practice so when you're ready grab your block and I'll see you on the mat. So we're going to start lying down and we're going to place the block long ways um, vertically on the mat and the top corners of the block are just going to go on the inside of the scapula of the shoulder blades. So when you're ready place your block down and make your way down onto the mat. So the top corners are sort of um, in the middle of the scapula. We'll just pause here. It should feel quite comfortable. There should be no pain. So give yourself a moment to adjust. <sighs> if you're feeling any tension in your lower back in this position, you always have the option to bend the knees and bring the feet as wide as the mat and bring the knees together towards the midline. Wherever you are, I invite you to have your palms facing up towards the sky and fully surrendering here to your mat, to your practice, giving the whole weight of your body away to the block and the earth, even closing off the eyes if you haven't done so already. Be here for a few moments just to really allow the serratus anterior, which is the muscle just beneath the scapula. Really allow that muscle to relax, to soften. Just taking the time for yourself. And if you might, if you find, sorry, that your mind is wandering off, remember that that's okay. There's no pressure to shut off your mind. Just give yourself permission to be here. To not worry about anything. Perhaps taking a couple of deep sighs if that helps you relax. Deep breathing really helps calm the nervous system. It ignites that rest and relax mode. <sighs> Help combat stress, anxiety. So really giving yourself permission to be soft and to just breathe. Okay, from here, slow and steady, keep that calm energy inside of you. Slowly roll up to find a seat, take the block away, and then come back down onto your mat. Oh, notice the space that it's created. <sighs> Just beneath the shoulder blades on either side. Okay, let's find happy baby in our own time, bringing the knees towards the armpits, soles of the feet towards the sky and grabbing at the shins, ankles or outsides of the feet, whatever feels good. Giving yourself a little rock side to side, being playful. Bring both knees together towards the chest and then keep hold of the right knee, lengthen the left leg along the mat. Take a big inhale here and on the exhale, bring the left knee over to the opposite side and then reach the right hand over towards the right opening in the front side of the shoulder. 
and getting a beautiful twist in that thoracic spine that we were just talking about as well. Mm. Amazing. Be soft, move mindfully, come back to center. And then swap legs. So bring the left knee towards the chest, lengthen the right leg. Take a big inhale here. And on the exhale, bring the knee over towards the right side and lengthen the left arm over towards the left. Deep breaths in, the, in this left side. Amazing. Let's bring this right arm over towards the right side. And then this, sorry, left arm, not right, the left arm over towards the right side. And then use the left hand to push you up to find a seat on your mat. Okay, let's come to a cross-legged position. If you find yourself sort of hunching forward, feel free to grab that block. In fact, I invite you to do so. I'm going to use mine. Sit on the block just to help elevate the spine a little bit. And the knees fall down to the earth. Find a little bit of softness, heart space over pelvis, head over heart space. Bring the shoulders up towards the, towards the ears and release them back and down the body. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale, reach them up. And as you exhale, send that sternum up towards the sky. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your heart. On the inhale, shine the heart forward. Reach the backs of the hands towards the back of your space. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, give yourself a big hug. Push open the scapula. Three more. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Reach the back of the hands back. Exhale, opposite arm on top. Hug, beautiful. Two more, moving with the breath. Inhale, shine open. Exhale, hug it in. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Amazing. Slowly come back. Give your neck a little rotation. Be gentle. Bring your chin towards the chest and then one ear to one shoulder. And then other ear, other shoulder. In your own time. Moving intuitively with your breath, bringing out any crinkles that you might have. <sighs> okay, let's bring the left hand towards the earth. If only the fingertips touch, that's okay. Don't lean towards the side. Just bring the fingertips down. Inhale, full circle, right arm up. Exhale, find this beautiful side stretch on the right side, keeping the chest open forward. So we want the shoulder to still be in line with the bottom shoulder. We're not um, squaring them together. Reaching the fingertips, right fingertips towards the left. One more breath here. And slowly come back, beautiful. Right hand down, inhale, full circle, left arm. perhaps gazing towards the fingertips if it's comfortable on the neck, but keeping the head lifted slightly rather than crunching the neck at the back. One more breath here. And slowly come back. Okay, let's find our way towards tabletop position, keeping that mindfulness. Often we move in between postures and completely forget about our practice. So. Moving with intention. In your tabletop shoulders or over the wrists, hips over the knees. Let's do two cat cows. We start with an inhale, we lift the tailbone, drop the belly, chest up, gaze up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, ripple through the spine, drop the head at the bottom. One more inhale, grounding the knuckles of the hands into the earth. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's send um, the bum towards the heels. Actually, sorry, let's tuck the toes under, bring the knees together, and then send the bum towards the heels. From here, reach the hands forward and melt the heart onto the thighs, belly onto the thighs, heart onto the thighs, and perhaps even bring the head down onto the earth. Keep reaching those fingertips forward. 
Sending the breath to the shoulders. <sighs> One more here, really finding that sense of calm, sense of lightness, sense of creating space in your body and your shoulders where we hold so much tension. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, let's come back up to tabletop. And then in your own time, make your way down to your belly on the earth. Fingertips on either side of the mat, so just off the mat, in line with the shoulders. On the inhale, we shine the heart up towards the sky as we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, roll back down, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhale to open. Beautiful, one more inhale. And pause at the top on this one and either stay here, perhaps reach the um, hands off the mat, or perhaps even see if you can interlace the fingers behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades even more. Really pressing the tops of the feet into the mat as you do this so the legs are engaged as well. And slowly. Release, beautiful. Make your way back to your tabletop. And then we'll take puppy dog pose. So keeping hips over the knees and walking the hands forward, melting the heart to the earth. So here we want to be mindful that we're not flaring the rib cage open. We want to keep um, the navel towards the spine and sending the lower rib cage towards the pelvis. <sighs> This means that um, we're really accessing the shoulders rather than opening in the thoracic spine. One more breath here. Amazing. Slowly walk yourself back up to your towards your tabletop, sorry. And then when you're ready, let's just find one down facing dog. Tuck the toes under, big inhale here. On the exhale, push it back. Paddle the feet, bend the knees. Find a bit of physicality to your downward dog. Beautiful, one more breath here. Can you find a sense of lightness and softness? Really grounding the knuckles of the hands into the air, spreading the weight evenly throughout the hands. And slowly lower the knees down onto the mat. Okay, so from your tabletop, let's shift the weight towards the left hand. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up. Exhale, weave this right hand towards the left side. We're not placing the shoulder down. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, weave. Okay, this time, place the shoulder down, place the ear down. This left hand can stay here, or it can um, come towards your lower back. If it's on your lower back, uh, palm of the hand on the lower back, really reaching that left shoulder up towards the sky. You might even be able to bind the left hand, oh, there's a fly, sorry, <laughs> the left hand onto um, the right hip. Right palm of the hand towards the sky. Let's take one more breath here. And slowly release. Left hand down, push into the le this left hand to unwind. Right fingertips up, inhale. Exhale, back to tabletop, other side. Shift the weight towards the right hand. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Weave and reach. Exhale, beautiful active rotation. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, weave and reach. Beautiful. This time we place the shoulder down. This is our passive rotation, ear down. And again, option to leave the left hand on the mat. Place it on your lower back or find your bind. Beautiful. One more breath here. And slowly bring that right hand back down, push into it. Inhale, left fingertips up. Exhale, tabletop, beautiful. Find your child's pose. 
<sighs> Whatever comfortable child's pose works for you today. Perhaps even a wide-legged child's pose, really melting the belly and the heart to the earth. Take a moment to be with yourself, with your breath. A few more moments here before we close our practice. Take this time for yourself. Let it all go into the mat. Oh, perhaps take another big sigh. Let's do it together. Big inhale. Open the lips. <sighs> Beautiful. Walk yourself back up to a kneeling position. <sighs> Let's give our shoulders a little roll back. One more. <sighs> Amazing. Bring your hands to your heart and bow the head to close your practice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for wringing out all of that oh, shoulder tension with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope they feel a little bit looser and not so tight. We hold so much, not just physical, but mental and emotional tension in our shoulders that they really need a lot of love. So take care of your shoulders. Take care of yourself. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.